Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to a Dragon Quest 7, or a Dragon Warrior 7, as it was released here in the U.S. on the PlayStation 1. We finally have all four shards. What will happen when I fit the uh, fourth one onto the pedestal? Let's go ahead and find out. Oh god, the room is spinning. I'm getting sick! Oh no, that's just a special effect. Never mind. Huh? What's that light? Eek! Amazing! Oh hey, there's a blue police box just went by. Ugh. Well, at least we're, uh, you know, sleeping comfortably on grass, right? Ouch, that landing was not as delicate as I would have liked. It seems the great Prince Kiefer now lies in the dirt like a common peasant. But I think I hurt my pride more than anything else. What just happened? Maribel? All? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. No, I'm not alright. But you could save your misplaced concern for one of your swooning courtesans. I can take care of myself. What just happened? Weren't we just at the Fane? Something's definitely not right here. I've never seen this place before. I didn't even know a place like this existed on the island. Did you hit your head? You're talking nonsense. Now that you mention it, though, the sky is unusually dark here. Well, fellas, I wish I could say it's been fun. I'm going back home, but thanks for tagging along. See ya! Uh... How, how do you even know how to get home from wherever we are? Also, that said, how, like, have you literally been to every place on the island? <laughs> Both of you? To know that this is strange? I don't know. Well, uh, there's no need for us to stay here any longer. Let's go, I'll... Alright. Anything there? No? Oh, I can only rotate the screen a little bit. Nothing there. Eek! What? That was Maribel's voice. I'd know that shrill shriek anywhere. Let's go, I'll... Okay, I mean, I'd, I'd be happy to follow along. Yeah, nothing up here. Oh my! Ew, what are they? Their methodic jiggling is making me queasy. Monsters appeared! Alright, first of all... Uh, change text speed. Let's go with uh, two for now. Uh, plan. All. Go on to manual, please. I prefer controlling you guys. We got some slimes. Let's go ahead and fight, fight, and fight. We don't have anything else that we can do. One damage, three damage. Critical hit, 13 damage, nice. Okay, they have uh, hit me a couple times. Rude. All right, actually, tech speed, let's go a little bit slower. Just have everyone attack. Another one damage, three damage, and six damage. Stop hitting me, you dinks. Two, a four, and a six. Monsters were defeated. Earned three X points of XP. Obtained three gold. What have the two of you gotten me into this time? What is this place? And why am I standing in this vile blue goo? Well, you walked into the slimes. What were those things, monsters? Monsters? Were those monsters? Well, what else could they have been? Don't they teach you anything at the castle in the time you don't spend drinking and chasing women? Apparently not. Anyway, this is all your fault. You should never have brought me here against my will. Show some responsibility, Alden. Take me home safely. Monsters. Oh, do you realize what just happened? We just fought against monsters. Living, breathing monsters. Look at my hand. I'm trembling. <laughs> Why are you happy at a time like this? Honestly, I'll never understand men. Anyway, I don't want to stay here forever. Take me back home right now. Okay. 
Well, uh, let's see. We do have equipment on everyone. So that's good. Uh, Kiefer is actually the worst off, comparatively. Because he is lacking a shield and helmet. But uh, that is probably okay. Let's see. 14, 13, and 13. Yeah, his, uh, his defense is pretty good with a, a traveler outfit. Traveler's clothes. So what do we have around here? Can't go up there. Oh, hello. What? Who are you? We're sorry to have startled you. We mean you no harm. My name is Kiefer. I'm the Prince of Estard. Estard? But it can't be. Huh? Oh, and that is Alden Maribel. They're my lackeys. Hey! <clears throat> We're his friends. Um. Oh, forgive me. My name is Matilda. Matilda, huh? Why are you out here in the dark, cutting weeds? I picked the weeds as an offering for those graves. What? You're planting weeds on the grave on purpose? The weeds are in place of flowers. As you can see, there aren't any flowers blooming around here. But I thought there would be at least some weeds. Oh, well, if you want some flowers, I've got some. Hmm, well, I've got seeds anyway. Flower seeds? I picked them up in a starred forest. I was thinking of planting them around my house. Oh my, would you mind sharing a few of those seeds? Of course, you can have them all. Thank you so much. I'll go and plant them right now. I'm not sure that that was planting so much as just dropping them on the ground, but okay. That should help calm the spirits of the dead. The dead? By the way, where are you three headed? Well, for the time being, we'd like to find a way to return to our homes. I hate to say it, but you shan't be able to return to your homes anytime soon. Huh? However, there is a place for you to rest in the village on the other side of this forest. In appreciation for the seeds, I shall accompany you there. Hey, we have another party member. Matilda joined the party. Getting a full party so quickly is pretty nice. Well, shall we go? Once we emerge from the forest, the village will be immediately to the east. Well, this is a fine mess you've gotten our we've gotten ourselves into. You boys just had to mess around with that fane. You should be ashamed of yourselves. What did Matilda mean when she said that we won't be able to return home anytime soon? Well, I mean, we obviously got teleported somehow. Kiefer is lost in thought. Maribel is lost in thought. And apparently Matilda doesn't have anything to say. Um, she is not showing up as an actual party member. So, yep. Alright. But she is in the party. I'll examine the tombstone. Someone's name is inscribed here, but it's too dirty to read. I'll examine the tombstone. Someone's name is inscribed here, but it's too dirty to read. And no life seeds. Alright, so we've got a village over there. We've got a cave down here. We've got a tower up there. And we've got a battle. Monsters appeared! A scent beast. Let's go ahead and uh, fight them all. Matilda attacked first and just killed it outright. That's pretty nice, though. Six XP, six gold. And I do not know how much we need to go up a level. Oops, I did not actually mean to go back in there. I want to avoid... I'm trying to avoid the uh, that building. There we go. I want to avoid the town for the moment. Because Matilda is very powerful, and I might as well use her to kill some monsters. And gain some XP. 
Said beast dropped a treasure chest. Ald opened the treasure chest. Herb was found. Ald obtained herb. Well, hey, herb. It's nice to see you again. The village is to the west of here, Ald. We should hurry there, as this place is overrun by foul monsters. Okay. Monsters appeared! Eggplaton! Hmm. Lure dance? All was unaffected. Good. Hey! The rest of us killed it. Nice. Monsters were defeated. 4 XP. Ald was promoted to level 2. Max hit points by rose by 3. Uh, 3 MP. Ald learned additional skills. Strength plus 1. Agility plus 1. Intelligence plus 1. Guard plus 0. Appearance plus 0. Obtained 4 gold. Alright, so one downside of this game is that uh, they really did make it so that you need to do quite a bit of grinding. Wrong one, Matilda. Boy, not killing the uh, slimes in one hit is... Which is not great. <laughs> Four damage on Keeper, that's okay. Six XP. And Keeper was promoted to level two. Three hit points. Keeper learned additional uh, skills. One strength, zero agility, one intelligence, one guard, zero appearance, and six gold. So ideally, I want to get uh, Kiefer up to level 4 and everyone else up to level 3 before we uh, go into that mine down there, which is going to be where we're going to go after the uh, village. Kind of obvious. These guys aren't doing a whole lot of damage. And Bolt Slash, wow. I'm impressed. 6 XP, and that should be Maribel. Level 2, 2 hit points, 5 MP. Maribel learned additional skills. Strength 0, Agility 2, Intelligence 1, Guard 0, Appearance 1, 6 gold. Sent Beast dropped a treasure chest. Ald opened the treasure chest. Herb was found. Ald obtained Herb. It's nice of Herb to uh, come to us. Oh. Your current position does not seem to be on the map. Oh, interesting. Go ahead and put that into the bag. I don't need the world map on me. Uh, Kiefer has two herbs, so let's give uh, two herbs to Maribel. You will need those for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of grinding that's necessary in this game. Um, I believe the 3DS version, they, they like, just outright halved the XP requirements for every level or something like that. Um, so leveling is a lot faster. Or maybe they doubled the XP that monsters give or something like that. I don't, I don't know the details. Precisely. Please don't kill the slime. Good. There we go. Slime is dead. Thanks for killing all the monsters, Matilda. I appreciate it. 6 XP, a 6 gold. I mean, I might be high enough level now to... Um, I mean, everyone's gained two levels, or one level, so... Might be good enough. Battle transitions are pretty fast in this game, which is unusual for a PlayStation uh, RPG. 2 XP, a 2 gold. I don't know if I have an XP chart for the characters. Go ahead and look at that. While we murder some egg platons. Let's 
still doing okay on another bolt slash. Wow. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Not seeing anything there. I obviously won't be doing all uh, grinding on screen, but uh, I do want to keep uh, Matilda in my party for a little bit. I mean, obviously she's not a permanent party member. Right, two damage on Maribel. No damage on me, that's good. I do appreciate that she is, uh, so fast. Lure dance, but I am unaffected. Seven XP. Is that a level four on me? It was. Level three. Three hit points. Four MP. I'll learn additional skills. Strength plus one. Agility plus one. Intelligence plus one. Guard plus one. Appearance plus zero. I'll learn heal. And seven gold. Very nice. So that's one reason why I wanted to get a few levels. Uh, Maribel will learn a, a spell at level 3 as well. I do not see any XP charts, unfortunately. Uh, Keeper gained a level, level 3, 4 hit points. Uh, two strength, one agility, one intelligence, one guard, one appearance, two gold. Excellent. Uh, do, do, do. Drax Slash. She has a lot of different uh, abilities, doesn't she? <laughs> Hey, uh, you wanna you wanna teach us some of these? Oh, I'd be happy to to learn some of these. So not quite enough XP for a level for Maribel. Dance. Ald was absorbed in dancing. Well, I was already absorbed in dancing, so. <laughs> Luckily, Matilda will murder that one. 6 XP, a 6 gold. No level. Oops. Yeah, Maribel has still not gone up a level. actually hit. Nice. Alright. 8 XP. Maribel was promoted to level 3. 3 hit points. 5 MP. Maribel learned additional skills. Strength plus 1. Agility plus 2. Intelligence plus 1. Guard plus 1. Appearance plus 1. Maribel learned Blaze. Obtained 8 gold. So, yeah, the, um... The... Uh, most of the ability and spell names are based on the earlier Dragon Warrior games as opposed to the later Dragon Quest games. So we will be getting Blaze rather than... Uh... Jeez, I'm blanking on what that one is. Uh, we're still doing okay on hit points. Matilda can take care of them. I 
They do attack Matilda, at least. Okay, they have about 8 hit points, it looks like. 8 XP, 8 gold. Alright, well, I'm, I've got uh, some levels, so I can do a little bit more off-screen stuff uh, to get the next levels that I want. So let's just go ahead and advance the story a bit. Hey, Ald, wait a minute. Where in the world did Matilda go? I don't see her anywhere. You're right, maybe she rushed home. She is from this insufferable-looking village, after all. Honestly, only someone of little refinement would leave without saying goodbye. Well, that's not a bad point. Hmm. I don't know why I got the uh, those red marks there. Hello? It's all over. This cheerful farm of mine is ruined. See for yourself, there's a giant hole where my crops once were. You're right, who could have done such a terrible thing? What are you talking about? I did it, of course. It's a sacrifice I have to make for my wife and little girl. But why not just take my soul as well? What? What the heck is going on here? What's up, pupper? Woof, woof, woof. Hello? Huh, what am I doing? Well, can't you tell? I'm tearing down my house. What do you mean, why? You looking to start a fight with me? I got a wife to worry about. What if she never comes back? Something is very, very wrong here. Well, let's go ahead and help them, right? <laughs> Just smash some barrels. All right. Nothing in there to smash up. Welcome, this is Rexwood, home of the legendary hero Rex. Shepard. Of course, all that's ancient history now. Why well, bother even trying? It's not like things would get any better. Something is uh, very wrong here. Oh, I can't believe that I'm being forced to tear down my house with my own hands. What did I do to deserve this? I don't know. You better ask the pet shop boys, though. Hello? Trees are so disciplined. Even if you set one on fire, it will stand there without so much as a word. I mean, it has no mouth. Well, that's a fair point. Hey, Zappa. What are you doing? There's nothing but trees back here. You're not stupid and impotent, are you? No? Really? Good. There's nothing back here anyway. Okay. Well, there's an inn here. I suppose a day will soon come when I'll have to tear down this inn. Still, I would do anything to save my wife. Now then, welcome to our inn. One night is nine gold. Would you like to stay? Um... No, not yet. Goodbye now, please come again. I'll get uh, some more, another level off screen and then stay. Well, let's help. Oh, nothing. You say you've come from a start? Hmm. I've never heard of such a country. Oh, wait, I think I remember hearing that name before, but where? Huh. Maybe we're well beyond the uh, bounds of the ocean. I mean, the ships can only go so far. Traveler, would you like to hear the legend of Rex? Shepard. The hero of our village? Uh, sure. Was he a Krogan? The legend begins 20 years ago when monsters first attacked our village. The villagers gathered together and put aside their disparate views to find a solution. After endless debate, they resolved to defeat the formidable beasts. But first, a courageous young man was sent off alone to the monster's lair. The plan was for the others to follow soon after him in full force, but not a single soul went. No one could summon the courage to do so. And so the brave warrior took on the monsters, waiting for help that never came. After emerging victorious over the monsters, he collapsed to his knees and perished near their lair. The hero's name was Rex. Since that day, in commemoration of his valiant deeds, our town has been known as Rexwood. 
So you're destroying the town to honor him? Oh, hey, there's a little house back there. Is that what's going on here? Kitty! I'll obtain 12 gold. I'll take that. I don't know that there's anything in here. Nope. Hello? This place isn't actually mine, it's Hank's. We traded houses because Hank needed to hide from the monsters. Oh, damn it! How could I say something like that to a stranger? I'm so sorry, please, forget what I just said. Uh, forget what? Exactly. Uh, this is a weapon and armor shop, how can I help you? Well, let's see what you have for sale. Well, you buy. We can get a pole for 50, a club for 110, a, a copper sword for 220. That's a big, big increase. Leather armor for 180, a leather shield for 70, horned helmet for 70, and herbs for 8. Uh, Alright, Maribel cannot equip the horned helmet, cannot use the leather shield, or the leather armor, or the copper sword. Or the club. She can use the pole, though. So that'd be nice for her. But I would really like to save up and get some copper swords. That is going to be a lot of money, though. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, that's, that's good right now. Come again! I might have some things that I can sell, though. Anything back here? Nope. Never talked to that old man over there. Let's go do that. This used to be a peaceful forest village until the monsters appeared. They took our women and delivered a fearsome ultimatum. We were com to completely destroy the village or we could consider the women as good as dead. This is a village without hope. You should go back to wherever you came from. Don't know why those red dots are there. Probably just, uh... I mean, I, I think that on a TV screen that would probably not be showing up, but I don't know. It was supposed to be a huge, magnificent temple built here, but one cannot ask for luxury in times like these. Anyway, courageous servants of God, what do you seek in our temple? Uh, Oracle. I hear God's voice. All, do you need 39 experience points to reach the next level? Kiefer, you need 29 experience points to reach the next level. Maribel, you need 55 experience points to reach the next level. Uh, we'll go ahead and save for now. I swear this is the game with the most, uh, the, the Dragon Quest game with the most save slots. It's almost amazing. Then again, the 3DS one, because I think it saves on to an SD card or something like that, that might have a lot as well. All right, before we go in there, is there anyone over here? Just uh, that man. Okay. Anything in the woods? Anything behind the house? No. Oh. Nothing there. Okay. Who's there? Oh, you, you scared me. Come on inside. You don't even know who I am. I thought monsters had discovered us. My name's Patrick. Judging by your mismatched armor and massive weapons, you appear to be adventurers. I have something I must ask you. We're all armed with sticks. Have you come across a woman by the name of Matilda? Well, yeah, actually we have. You did? Good, good. She protects this village from monsters. But we haven't seen her recently. With Matilda gone and my father injured, who's left to protect her insignificant village? Certainly not the cowards who call themselves men. Wow. Oh, ow. Father, are you all right? How do you feel? Well, first of all... Oh. An armor display. 
Please forgive me. My father struggle, struggles to hang on to life even as we speak. He's the last warrior remaining, remaining in our meager village. But he was mortally wounded attempting to rescue the woman, women taken during the monster's invasion. The doctor said bed rest won't be enough to heal his injuries. Southeast of here, there's a mine where the workers dig for gems called color stones. It may be possible to heal my father using the properties of a green color stone. Even a fragment from one, a green orb, would be sufficient. But the mine is full of monsters and the villagers are cowardly and weak. I have faith in Matilda's strength as a hardened warrior, so I intended to ask her to help. If you see her, could you ask her for me? I'll do what I can, but I must continue to tend to my father's bedside. You're old beyond your years, child. Oh, oh. Well, all right. We can definitely uh, do that. I thought there was another item in here. Let me see real fast. Do do. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'll look around a little bit. I might have missed something. Let's take a quick, uh, little look around. I did bash those, so that's not that. Got the 12 gold. I thought there was another item. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, so we have a, uh, we have a quest here. Uh, we can find Matilda. We may end up just doing the, uh, little quest for the, uh, kid ourselves. I mean, she's busy defending uh, the village against monsters, right? No? You know, we could, uh, take it upon ourselves to find these color stones. However, I'm gonna do some leveling before we go into that, uh, cave. Keeper could use, uh, he'll get a skill at the next level, which will be uh, pretty handy. I would like to get at least one copper sword, um, probably for him, and we'll see how that goes. But that will be for next time. See you then, everyone.